Porsche has always considered the Cayenne to be the sports car of SUVs, but that's never been more true than it is today. This is the 2022 Porsche Cayenne Turbo GT, which currently holds the Nürburgring lap record for production SUVs. The numbers speak for themselves, 0 to 60 in 3.1 seconds, a top speed of 186 miles an hour, and 631 horsepower coming from that 4-liter twin-turbocharged V8. But let's be honest, none of those figures matter when you're behind the wheel because this is just so much fun to drive. Twisty roads, highways, long trips, it can really do it all. I'm in the mountains above Pasadena, California, and I'm about to put this thing through its paces. But before we do that, be sure to subscribe to the Motor One YouTube channel and find us on all of your favorite social media so that we can keep you updated on vehicles like this one. I'm up here on the Angeles Crest Highway because I really want to put those numbers that I mentioned earlier at the beginning of the video into perspective. Zero to 60 in 3.1 seconds sounds fast, but what does it really feel like when the rubber meets the road? And when the rubber meets this road, it means wonderful things indeed. That's because Angeles Crest Highway is practically tailor-made for the Cayenne GT, and it just allows this particular vehicle to take a wonderful set through corners so that you can kind of feed the throttle in as you get to the corner exit. It feels wonderful, it drives great. Honestly, I'm surprised that I'm not in a proper Porsche sports car based on how this thing drives. Part and parcel to that experience is the sports exhaust system. When the drive selector, which is actually steering wheel mounted on this vehicle, is turned to either the Sport or Sport Plus mode, this active exhaust really sings a beautiful song. So when you hit that corner exit, you can really open it up and just let it sing. Oh, it's so fantastic. It sounds great, it burbles on overruns. One of the reasons the Turbo GT is so fun to drive is because Porsche made absolutely every single performance feature standard on this vehicle. For example, it has carbon ceramic brakes at all four corners that save a little bit of weight and prevent brake fade. It also has lightweight 22 inch wheels that are actually a little bit lighter than the 21s that come on the rest of the Cayenne family. It has Porsche active suspension management with active anti-roll bars so it keeps this thing handling flat as a pancake. And then it has the carbon fiber lightweight sport package that's optional on other Cayenne coupes which adds a carbon fiber roof panel and a few other weight saving measures to make sure that this thing is as light on its feet as possible. Honestly, it's only when you look in the rearview mirror and notice that there are two full-size seats back there that you realize you're not driving a purpose-built sports car. In addition to all those specially tuned performance bolt-ons, Porsche gave the Turbo GT a look all its own. It sits 17 millimeters lower than the Cayenne Turbo Coupe, hunkered down low over this tester's neodyme painted wheels. A titanium center exit exhaust saves weight and looks amazing, and up front there's a new fascia with a bigger chin spoiler and larger intakes on the bumper corners. The contoured roof blends into an upper rear spoiler with pronounced carbon fiber side plates, while the extending rear deck spoiler adds a 2-inch gurney flap for even more downforce at speed. Inside, the Cayenne Turbo GT gets extended Alcantara trim standard, including the seat centers, door panel inserts, dashboard, and headliner. And the seats themselves get slick, contrasting accents that subtly remind me of the Porsche 928's distinctive Pasha pattern upholstery. A gold stripe at the 12 o'clock position on the steering wheel matches this vehicle's neodyme trim tachometer and sport chrono gauge, and there are Turbo GT logos on the headrests. Inside and out, the sportiest Cayenne is clearly built for a thrilling driving experience. In spite of all of that performance, the Cayenne Turbo GT is also a very comfortable cruiser. You turn this little switch over to the normal mode or maybe to individual, and you can go in and tailor make exactly what you want the car to do. If you want the steering to be nice and heavy, but the suspension to be soft and pillowy, you can do that. You can tune it to be anything you want from an insane canyon brawler to a comfortable and composed city commuter. Unfortunately, the Cayenne Turbo GT is limited to a two plus two layout and you can't get a three position rear bench. That means that your automotive shared experiences are limited to just you and your three closest friends. And obviously there's no third row either which means that some vehicles like the 700 plus horsepower Dodge Durango Hellcat might be a better fit for you, particularly if you have a lot of people to haul around or a bunch of stuff or if you've got a boat. That's really the only thing that I can complain about with this vehicle. It does everything else so well. It handles extremely competently. It's crazy fast. It's comfortable on the highway. There's more than enough space for two people and there's adequate space for four. Cargo space under the rear hatch is surprisingly big in spite of that sloping rear window. Overall, it's just an extremely practical vehicle that happens to go like a bat out of hell. 
One of the things I love the most about the Turbo GT is that it's honestly pretty understated. Yes, it does have these big neodyme painted 22 inch wheels and Porsche script appliques on the bottom of the doors. And then there is a pretty big rear spoiler on the roof and then another deploying spoiler on the rear. But at the same time, it doesn't necessarily call a whole lot of attention to itself. And that kind of speaks to Porsche's design ethos as a manufacturer. They definitely make some very exuberant and expressive designs, but at the same time, they're also content to kind of dial things back and let you really just kind of revel in the performance of the vehicle without necessarily calling attention to the rest of it. As you can see, the Turbo GT is the cream of the crop of the Porsche Cayenne lineup. It's got everything you could possibly want in a performance vehicle. Tenacious grip, explosive power, nearly perfect handling balance with neither under nor oversteer, and a lively and enjoyable fun to drive character that just encourages you to dig a little bit deeper and push a little bit harder on the next corner, knowing that the vehicle has enough grip and reserves to step in if you overcook it just a little bit. In fact, it's nearly perfect in every way except one price. You would never expect a vehicle of this caliber to be cheap and the Turbo GT obliges with a starting price of $180,800. And as equipped, this particular example is a staggering 198,670 bones. That is so much cash for what is essentially a limited purpose vehicle. You can't fit a whole family in there. You can't really tow a boat. You've definitely got some limitations, but at the same time, you get so much for your money plenty of cargo space, enough room for two of your closest friends in the back seat, and all of that performance and panache you'd expect of a vehicle wearing that beautiful gold badge on the front. On top of all that, this vehicle is a world record holder with a Nürburgring lap time that even rivals some of Porsche's dedicated sports cars. If you've got the cash, I promise you, you won't be disappointed. Thanks for watching.